Welcome back to my solo Let's Play series of Quantum Break. Uh, we're now on Act 2. Well, Junction 1 it says there. But, um, yeah, we, well, I uploaded uh, Act 1 earlier and it came to a pretty positive reception. Um, uh, we amassed around 40 views in a day, which is huge for a small channel like um, Dead Fruit. So, you know, it made me feel really good about myself. And I know that there were a couple audio issues um, that I did uh, realize when I was editing. So I'm basically doing my best to make sure that, you know, the volumes are, uh, you know, balanced on both ends. So my mic volume and the game volume. So one isn't going to be louder than the other. I hope so anyway. So, um, yeah, let's just get straight into it. Let's not waste any more time. Junction one. Let's go. This is such a such a fun game so far. Like, I haven't played many games that use the element of time. I know there are quite a lot out there, but I've just not been able to uh, try them out. My name is Paul Serene. I founded Monarch Solutions 17 years ago with a very clear purpose. There are those who would question my actions. I'm recording this as a final statement of vindication, a testimony of how things came to be. I've always been devoted to my mission never deterred from my goal, no matter the sacrifice. Because I've seen where this leads. I've seen where it all ends. We have a problem. No word from Dead Force's transport. It should have arrived here by now. We may have a traitor on the inside. You're due for your treatment. I'll find who's behind this. Find Jack. That's our priority. Get your best man on it. There's more. As you know, Jack's level of interference led to unexpected complications. Witnesses from the university were transported here. You need to take a look. I saw that, um, the bald dude in the opening of the game. We can't afford any further obstacles at this stage of the plan. Now I see two when options. I played the first time, we could use force, and then he just immediately disappeared. I knew he was but important. If those witnesses disappear, but then I didn't hear some future. asking questions, potentially turn on monarch. Clear, sir. Alternatively, I could mount a broad PR strategy, get the city on Mr. our Serene? side. But that leaves us with the the loose ends. Precisely. The choice is yours, but keep in mind. When I get to play as Paul, which is really the fun. Like, I know that you could. Strategy you have small before. sections where you play as him. I wonder how they're going to play out. So yeah, the whole of Monarch is in Paul's hands. This is insane. Oh, um. How long until the core is ready for transport? It'll be en route to Monarch headquarters in less than an hour. Installation should be complete before the gala. Good. And I know that, um... In the introduction, in the in the first act, I missed out on a lot of narrative stuff that was really interesting. I, I saw in a couple of other let's plays. What is it? So I'm going to focus more on you know getting myself deep into the story because it's really intriguing. You just initiated a quantum ripple. Watch the next episode of the show to see the consequence of your actions. Really? I suggest we deal with the issue at hand. Liam Burke over there can explain the situation in more detail. Ah. Of course. Liam Burke, is he the guy? Yeah, he's the guy that knocked out. That knocked Jack out. Says. Jack would never understand the necessity of what I'd done. It wasn't the death William deserved. But his knowledge posed too great a risk to our plan. Okay, so this is about William. 
its capture alive, if possible, delivered to Paul. A strange brother Paul. of Jack. The men are waiting for your input. Ooh. He might be schizophrenic. Female source, right? definitely Serene Beth. brought down the whole building just to take out that geek. Yeah, little do they Don't know that the traitor man. on the inside Talk is about Beth. Like, this point. is a nice use of dramatic <laughs> guys. Yeah. What's going on? Nothing. Let me look at my. It was the first time I'd visited the Ground Zero operation in ages. The location I'd arrived in when I went 17 years back in time. The location where my fate was sealed six years ago. What's this? We had Jack in custody, but I was starting to witness visions from the future which made it clear that could change very soon. So yeah, Jack Joyce is... Very important. Oh, so there's only two narrative objects. Sir, who is this? <gasps> Amy Ferrero. She's one of the witnesses. Awaiting your orders on how to proceed. It's Amy. So, are you telling me I can... No, I don't want to hurt her. My powers grew stronger, even as the Cronon Syndrome worsened. I could choose a path that would become the actual future, but it wasn't optional. The moment wouldn't end until I made up my mind. The junction power reveals two potential futures. Your decision at each junction point will steer the stories of both the game and the live action show. Choose wisely. Hold to show PR, hold to show hardline. What? I don't understand. I think, have I missed out on something? Any potential threats to our plan need to be erased. Ah. Wait! Monarch would take a hardline approach. Crush all obstacles, eliminate all witnesses. It would be harsh. But I had made hard choices for the greater good before. I dug through the area and I found everything I could on your bro. This is messed up, man. I trusted Monarch. But the people of Riverport would turn against us. You murderer! Our secrets would be safe, but the public would hate us, and Jack would gain new allies. Monarch's got no authority to stop you, and you tell that to everybody on that bridge. And what's the other choice? Initialize a PR campaign. Yeah, a campaign. I want to stay. And that violence was because of Jack Joyce. Monarch would take a PR-friendly approach and manipulate the public into siding with us. Our lies would give us control. The manhunt continues as authorities search for Jack Joyce. Hey, somebody's sneaking around down there. I think that's Jack Joyce! We'd use the media to expose, then hunt for Jack. I uploaded all the files I stole on that USB stick from the Monarch security station. But the eyewitnesses would be out there, and Jack would learn our secrets. Oh. What should I do? Well, this is really interesting, because I'm being given a choice to make the game either... Well, so it made the game easier for me or difficult for me because I, I do play as Jack for most of it. I think I should hope. Uh, well, you know what? I'm gonna go for I'm gonna go for the PR choice. I don't want Amy to die just yet. We can't risk any unwanted attention. Convince the witnesses not to talk. Keep eyes on them and send them home. Initialize a PR campaign. We need the city on our side. Yeah, this is really reminiscent of Not the infamous choices. She's
She's the head of the anti-monarch movement. I think we're looking at the new face of our campaign. Jack! There's no other way out. We're going through the machine. Oh, wait. No! Jack! This way! Jack! I use my power to guide us. To decide how to best prepare for the inevitable end of time. That gives the chosen few a chance to survive. I've seen the end of time. Alright. 70% of the community agree with your choice. Nice. So are we going into Act 2 now, or...? Oh, it's a TV show. I'm going to pause right here and basically see you when this is done with because, as I said, I'm not going to be uploading any of the, the TV show because I want to stick um, strictly to a Let's Play of the game. Uh, this is this is kind of confusing. I'm not, I'm not sure what to do. You know what? Let's watch the TV show together. I've changed my mind. I've changed my mind. It's only 20 minutes. I can probably split the TV show as an, as another uh part so yeah let's do this all right then i'll see you then <laughs>